Hello everyone, this is Hazel Marie and welcome to my craft room. Um, I have not made um, any videos or downloaded anything in a while. Um, my recurring uh, uh, cancer has knocked me down and the new medication I'm taking um, has really kind of been rough. So um, I hope you'll apologize if I'm short of breath or if I have to cough. Um, because I have no control over it, and I'm so sorry. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to play with doilies today. And I have to give uh, credit to Fiona Jennings. I don't know if you've ever been to her channel or not, but if not, you do need to go, and it's Jennings644. Uh, Fiona has been around forever. She is almost the matron of YouTube, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the many, many, many things that I have learned over the years uh, has come from her. And uh, she should be given uh, credit where credit is due. And she's always coming up with new ideas. Uh, so check out her channel. Also check out her Etsy store. Uh, today, uh, this is one of her ideas, was uh, with the doilies. And what I have done is I have gotten out some of my doilies. And I've stacked them in oh, the same similar size or, or configuration or whatever. This one's a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller than this one right here. This one's a little bit bigger. It has the points. But where I got this fabric, um, fabric uh, doilies, was from a cover uh, covering. It really wasn't a tablecloth, uh, but it was a big expanse of crochet and perhaps it was part of a tablecloth I don't know but what I did was um, I cut the doilies apart and uh, I saved just about everything on it and uh, so there wasn't much waste believe me so what I'm, I'm doing is I'm taking the same color you could take a different color if you want this just happens to be the same color and what i'm doing is smaller and it's some from the same covering and i'm folding it in half then i am folding one side over then what i'm going to do is just put glue in between as i messed it up <laughs> and a little glue on the back side now i'm going to put this out that glue is a little bit warm. Now I've made a couple, same thing, but let me show you how I did that again before I, I put those on. Fold it in half and simply fold it again. You don't fold it together, just one side. Now this is a fairly fast way to make flowers. Now I don't know about you, but I love to make flowers and I like to make different kinds of flowers and I have been looking lately at the different kind uh, that I could make and uh, when I ran across this one on Fiona's channel I thought oh wow that's great. I want to try and make those because you can never have enough types of flowers okay now we have our first round on as you can see but we're going to put a second a second round on because we want to make ours a little more fluffy this is the last one that i had pre-made now i'm going to offset them Ooh, let me just double check nope i did it right okay i was afraid i was afraid i had uh done it the wrong way. Fold it in half, fold it over. I mean, what could be simpler, but yet so shabby chic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue around until I build up this second set of doilies. Fold in half, fold it over. Pretty simple. If it weren't for the glue gun, it would be fun to have your children do this with you. But 
the glue gun does present a problem being so hot. And uh, speaking of glue guns, uh, I need your help. I am looking for a glue gun that does a very fine um, oh, outlay of glue. It almost makes like a fine line. Um, that, yeah, I have been looking for that. And uh, I found one in England on YouTube. Or not YouTube, I'm sorry, Google. But the thing is, you have to buy a, uh, what do you call it, converter. And the converter <laughs> costs more than the glue gun. So that was not an option for me. I was not going to do that. Now, I have an option here. I have a white lily, and these were made for me in one of my special, uh, oh, I think it was a pocket letter. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Look at that, it looks like a little flower. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on. It's my center, whoa, while I burn my finger, of course. And um, anyway, I need to know where do you get the glue guns that you can get into a really tight area without pumping a lot of glue in there where you just want a little bit. Maybe you are making something that's really, really um, uh, intricate. And uh, that's, that's what I'm looking for. So if you know a brand, or if you know a number, or if you know somewhere I can find that, I sure would appreciate it if you'd let me know. Um, I want really bad to, let's see here, to find one. And I have been looking for two days. Actually, I've been looking longer than two days. But my husband and I have been looking together. Let's see if we can kind of, I had a little bitty um, jewel here. Uh, let's see here. How does this look? Ah, my hands don't have a lot of feeling in them from the neuropathy, from the medicines. So it's just a little bit hard, but that's okay. We shall overcome. Aha, we got it. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you think? Think that's cute? I think it's kind of cute. Oh, excuse me. Let's see here. So let's try. <clears throat> Putting something else over here. Oh, oh, ooh. I think I like that much better. How about you? You like that better? I do. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Put it right in the center. Now, there's one other thing that completes this flower. Okay. It is complete. I can get that centered too well. So you want to center it a whole lot better than I did. But don't you think that's a pretty, pretty, pretty flower? And look at it. It's got all those layers. <sighs> Love that. But like I said, and I'll, I'm probably going to try and tear this off if I can from the glue and get it a little more centered because. Um, I don't think that's in her too well. And I don't know about you, but I hate a wonky looking flower. So let's just set this one aside. Now, this one's a lot smaller. And we're going to do this one just a little bit different. Now, as you can see, it's it's a, more of a, a creamy, or I guess a cream. This one's more of a, hmm, I don't know, starker, I guess. Okay, these are the ones that I pulled out, and we're going to put them half here and half here. Now, 
I'm going to put some glue over here and over here. Then I'm going to put some glue back here. So, you know what? I didn't think about it, but maybe I could stretch this one out over here because all I did was go to that center and use it. So there's no way that should have come out that way. But hey, it did. But that doesn't mean we can't fix it. You know my motto. Hey, make a mistake? No big deal. Fix it. Fold it in half. Fold half over and half over. Now, I really would like to have some more flower uh, uh, tutorials because like I said there are so many out there and I am going to put this one across from the other one look at this look how it's already just popping up there see look at that of course I have glue on my hands <laughs> so go ahead and uh, fold over you're supposed to actually, I should have told you this. Fiona, she'll, go, she'll cringe when she sees this. You're supposed to actually make them um, come up to the very top. So when you make yours, don't do like I did. Do like I'm saying now. <laughs> and you'll do it right. So, but you know what? Mine still look pretty good. It's not that big a deal. Looks like they came out in spite of me. Do you ever do that? Sometimes you think, oh, well, even in spite of my efforts, sometimes it comes out right. Um, so anyway, this just, whoop, going the wrong way. You've got to make it into a V. Okay. A little bit on each side. A little bit in the middle. Now, we're going to go right over here. Whoa. Now this one gives you more height and it gives you a lot more uh, uh, depth, I guess, because you're folding it twice. Folding it into a V. You're folding both sides. It should look like a V. Now <clears throat> we're going to glue and now we're going to go in between. The ones that we just put down. Whoa! But you don't put it down on your finger. Ladies and gentlemen, let's don't do that. It hurts. <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time I work in the craft room, I have to do my nails over because <laughs> I end up pulling all the nail polish off. You're not going to believe I just polished my nails a few minutes ago. I can't seem to keep polish on my nails. Let me pull this down a little bit more. Make it into a V. Oh, don't you just love it when you can use something that's been uh, handmade and uh, you can use it for something else and it's so beautiful. And uh, Watch that down in here. We want it to be glued. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't want it standing up. I've got a trail of glue following me. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's get this one. And okay. we should have one more. I am determined that I'm going to wear this flower instead of look at it. <clears throat> okay. Here's another one. This is our last one. And this one goes up here. It's got a V. Little glue. Little glue. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at, look at this. Huh. I 
Oh, I really like this one. Ooh, see those, all those V's that just, just pumped it up, didn't it? Um, let me see here. I have, no, because it just kind of goes down in there and it gets lost, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to use pink again because this one has a round bottom. And I'm going to put it in the round top. Oh, oh my goodness. Isn't that cute? That is so, so cute. Okay. So there is two different kinds. This is where you just fold half and then half again. This is where you fold it half, half and, or fourth, excuse me, a fourth and a fourth. That's right. Aren't those cute? I just love them. Um, I'm going to stop the video. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how we can pump it up a little. Okay? Be right back. Hi, I'm back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I just wanted to show you how we could pump these flowers up just a little bit more. Make them a little bit more shabby chic. Um, if you like them like that, that's fine. Put a flower on the top. It's beautiful. But I like to go a little bit different. These are the same flowers that we made just a little bit ago. And um, I'm going to put hot glue here on the back. And this is a flower made of lace that I made. And I am going to put our doily flower right in the middle. And this lace has both pink and white on it. And so therefore, I am going to put another little flower that I made. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, excuse me so much. I'm sorry. Okay. Now I'm going to put him in the middle. Right there. Now this is a little flower. It's not really a flower, but I'm going to call it a flower. That I cut off of some. Um, it was a table runner. And then I spray glued the flower to it. From a little bit ago put some glue on it okay just kind of fluff it up a little bit and you have a shaggy chic flower with lots of glue strings <laughs> but uh, anyway there she is She's nice and large. I say she. Um, that you can put it on a book. Um, you can put that on a card. Wouldn't it make a beautiful card? Um, just about anything you can think of, you can put it on. Now, here's the smaller one that we made. If you remember, it was smaller. It has all the, the ones that we turned into a V. Now, this one... I made this out of ribbon and uh, it's just gathered and I am going to get a um, a little bitty uh, dot it's not really a dot it's a scallop but I just happened to have my scallop punch out and that's what I used now what we're going to do is make sure that it's gathered up on the little dot, like so. And then we shall have something to glue this to. And he is going to go here in the middle. Let's see if I can do that a little bit better than I did before. Just put him in the middle. Get some glue out of the way. I'm going to use that little flower or that little 
I'm going to call it flower. And I'm going to put it here in the middle. Right there. And I'm going to use a purple flower. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Along with pink. <coughs> now, isn't that beautiful? Almost looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. And there it is. This too could go, oh my goodness, anywhere. A needle book, um, a journal. Um, it could go in a card. It could go as a gift. It could go as a swap. It could go anywhere. Now, this one was one that we made. And I did something a little different on this one. And I went ahead and did this before I came back. And I actually glued just a gathered piece of lace all the way around to the bottom. Now you could use, <coughs> excuse me, um, a piece of lace, a larger piece of lace, if you don't know how to make the flowers. However, I think if you agree that maybe we need to learn how to make some of those flowers, I think that would be a fun idea. Now, as you can see, this one's too big. I had pulled it out. Too big. Didn't want to use that. This one is one of those, um, oh, you know, little uh, draw-up flowers where you just go around and pull it. Um, we used to make quilts out of those. But that's too, that's too small. And this one's... A little bit better size. Let's see how that works. I don't know. Might be a little bit too big. But you know what? If we pull it up, I don't think it is. It's just gathered around. Oops. Let's keep it gathered. Puffed in the middle. How about that? I like that. <laughs> and then down in the middle... This beautiful paper rose. I love these flowers. Okay. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. Pretty, pretty. Isn't that pretty? Shabby chic looking. Very shabby chic. Love that one. So that means that we have three. Let's put them like this. So this is the smallest. This is the next one. Now here's the other one that we made. And I took the little flower off that we had on there. And what I want to do on this one, let's move this, um, is get the larger of this. It's a little bit different shape, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Because on doilies, you can mix and match all the colors. <coughs> Excuse me. And see how much fuller that makes it look? Okay, now here is a pink new flower that I made. And when I say flower, you make parts of flowers and then you come back and you put them together. Uh, you put them with something else, which is what we're doing here. And we'll put that there in the center. And we're going to use that same little flower again that we took off. And I'm going to put it here in the center. <laughs> Lots of glue strands. I don't know, boy, that. <laughs> it's like being in a spider web. You can't get out. Okay. Now, how about that? Isn't that cute? Okay. <clears throat> now, we have this one. Whoops. This one. This one. And this one. I think they're all so pretty. I just love them. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do want to tell you that uh, you can get fancier with your flowers. Now, here's one I made. 
This does not have any doilies on it. It has lace, ribbon, and I believe this is a prima flower. Love these. So you can take something that's already beautiful and make it magnificent. And uh, we're going to be working on some of those kind of flowers too, just to show you how easy they are. See, there's the little dot. That's where you glue it to. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I really enjoyed watching Fiona. And I enjoyed sharing these with you. I hope you'll try them. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will answer you. And uh, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.